Welcome to The Choice Podcast once again. This is our third episode now, and yep. last time we kind of led into this one, and this one is, of course, about spring bear hunting. And yes. It's about time. You guys yes. have been doing this for Ever. quite a while. Ever. Yep. I've, I've been on a few now, and Aubrey, you're going on your first yeah. year soon. I'm pretty excited for that. <laughs> so, uh, well, let's just let's start off just right on the very top. What's your guys' favorite spring bear hunt you guys have ever been on? What's the most memorable for each of you? Wow, that's not an easy question. Why would you start off well, with we that? Well, we gotta start big, right? We gotta start big. Um, honestly, <laughs> there's just, we've been on so many of them. So <laughs> spring bear, um, I guess it depends on them all. I mean, we used to have a great time up in Northern Alberta. There's a lot of great hunts up there that we had. All right, um, so. British Columbia is all spot and stalk. You know, yeah. with the guys at Trophy West coast, and the coast, the and going through the they coast, go and they the get inlets. crabs oh. and fresh prawns and stuff like that. So I mean, I guess if you're talking then there was the all-around Ken, hunt, Ken's get Ken oh yeah, Gangler's, northern Manitoba. Northern Manitoba. So which what style? Kind of crazy. Adrenaline. Yes. What? what style then is oh. your favorite? Oh, oh. <laughs> you, you know what? I, I don't know. I, I, we love spot and stalk just because you make it happen. Right. But with with bear hunting, if your outfitter you know, runs a, an, a regular routine of baiting and everything else, mm -hmm. it, it could be incredible as well. You, you, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And I mean, we went from, in the beginning, always hunting from tree stands, like on a baited hunt, mm -hmm. per se. And one of the things, so we was used to hunt on a tree stands, and then we started doing ground blinds, which then the adrenaline gets it's just a little cool. crazier. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I won't forget, we mm -hmm. hunted in um, Saskatchewan that one year with Jeff, and I had a huge bear almost poke his head into the yeah, blind. Yeah, Jeff Jerome. Oh, yeah. like, and was that was a big me. bear. And Freddie and I were like, oh, like, oh like both God. of us are having hot, like, uh, Aubrey, it was closer than me and you. That's yeah. insane. I remember he the one year. huge. It was you and I in the blind, and the bear, it was, it was yes. I think it was a small sow, but it stuck its nose, and you went whack right yeah. in the nose. Was, yeah, that's just, probably not a good thing. It sits yeah. back and yeah. looks no, at you don't, and don't follow Ralph by example. Yeah. Please don't do that. No. Oh well, goodness. safety first. Always safety first. <laughs> we just first. need him to back away. That's yeah. all. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. That's all. But then you also have the reason why with some of the baits, so like all the way across, I mean, we've hunted in Quebec. We've hunted Ontario. You used to guide up in Ontario. You used to have a bear camp up in Ontario. Um... I mean, all the way across, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, BC, we've hunted all of them, okay? But BC, you cannot bait. BC is only spot and stalk. So you, there's different things you gotta do to have that, make that come true and make that happen. The rest of them, they can go ahead and bait, but here's the difference is there's not mountains in the rest of them. Well, for the most part, Alberta yeah. has mountains, but so you're talking very big, thick timber and to spot and stalk, your chances are minimal but it's also hunting spring black bear is about also hunting bears period is management just like yep. everything else we hunt whether it's deer elk turkeys it's a management tool too so in order to take care of and get that population to a level it needs to be you have to have a hunting season and in order to be successful in that hunting season i think you need to have some bait well uh, you, you know it is a controversial thing it people is. baiting yes. and, and non-baiting so. yes but here's let's just put the whole hunting in a nutshell and the nutshell is in the Midwest, in the South, in the West, you hunt over agricultural plots, not, right. not plots, but agriculture, yep. you, you know what I mean? You hunt river bottoms, mm -hmm. you're hunting, you know, where game is attracted to. Mm -hmm. so, so, you know, as far as baiting, if it's legal, man, you know, enjoy it, get you know, it out there. And the other thing too is for every bear that you have an opportunity to take at a bait site, you have to realize that there's a whole bunch that are still there feeding that you'll never see, you'll never mm -hmm. get. You, and you know and you're mean? also able to see the animals come into the judge them. and judge them. So sometimes you may have a sow come in and she may have a cub, but you don't see the cub right off the bat, where sometimes if you're spotting and stalking, you go ahead and you take that and you didn't realize it. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's a, and there's That's also why patience, with, take patience, your time, absolutely. even when you're spotting and stalking, you look, you glass, right. and you say, you know what, let's just wait a little bit, let's see. And, and you know, one of the hardest things to do, and that's judge a bear. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, There's absolutely. no antlers. We're, we're, I've, I've realized that. <laughs> we're we're going to get all of you, have you guys have a list of questions there oh, for us yes, this week? Oh, yes, we do have a list. And we're going to go through everything, we're going to answer all the things before you even get to the list. Because yes. we have gone from our favorite hunt to the types of hunting, the terrain <laughs> that we hunt in, why we do bait sites, why we do other things, and now we're going to tell you about how to judge a bear. So that's probably all of your will, questions here, right here, there. I, I'll, here's my age, there. my experience, whatever you want to call it. Old. 
Years and years ago, we would actually duct tape yes. our sleeves, our pant cuffs. And then you would wear like a bug tamer, you'd, some you'd, kind of a you'd suit. Have, you'd, you'd have netting on your head. You'd put cotton in your ears. Because the mosquitoes would be so Because the mosquitoes so and no seat were so You guys. Bad. You'd sit there. I was there. thinking like for wrestling when you try to no. sweat a bunch. Yeah, no, yeah. no. Okay. Get a little no, sauna suit going dying. on. No. You would be sitting there and you're like, uh-huh. Because right they right. were just. <laughs> literally. This you, stopped That all of it. saved this our. Right here. A thermocell. I'm not kidding. This saved. It saved our cost in duct tape. No, oh, not lying. It was bad. You would come back and you were just. Just bumps all over the place. You know, and the other thing we just experienced, tech light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The new tech light suits, yeah. they're impregnated with the repellent, which I I was right. I was hesitant. You, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because how can you and is it smell? You, you know what I mean? Yep. But but wow in it Florida. Yeah. Oh, and this is brand yeah. new. So so we're just I'm just throwing it out there. That tech light system from Bass Pro is unbelievable mm -hmm. because that garments we had no ticks, chiggers, we had none of the mosquitoes mm -hmm. landing on us, but we were also using our thermocells mm -hmm. because Double way. Right. Yeah. We didn't let them get close. No, no. 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 I, I don't want bugs. Not at all. So do you want to go back to judging? Because we, okay. we definitely talk well, squirrely here. Let's, we first, like, let's zip, first go zip, back zip, to the zip, beginning. Zip, zip. Okay. Oh, okay. We were talking about yes. <laughs> what your guys' favorite hunt was. I can't I can't answer that, and, I, and I'll tell you why. We've had, you know, I went on my first bear hunt. Oh, boy. I think 78. <laughs> I think I was in junior high. I went, uh, whatever. <laughs> I went, went up to the UP, hunted with a guy named Frank, incredible. He let me stay longer, and I, I learned so much from him, and I was captivated by the whole aspect of bear hunting. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Yep. And I'll give you my short story, my first ever. I'm sitting in a stand. I've got my recurve, all right? Mm -hmm. I'm in this big, he put skids out up on trees. You, yeah. you know, hell, we were 10 foot up. And here's this big bait, and I'm looking around, and, you know, I'm watching the birds, and this is the first time, you know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and I didn't realize, you know, that it was like a 200-yard walk from, you know, the, the road. Where and that's I, the worst part about a hunt. Yeah. A bear hunt is yeah. walk in and out, especially at dark. Because, you know, your mind plays you game. Well, anyways, so I'm sitting there, <laughs> and I'm looking around, and I just looked up, and I look back down, and the bear is there. The bit, he appeared like nowhere. Like, how, did he fly in? You, you know what I mean? There was no noise. There was nothing. And I was like, and you're hyperventilating. You know what I mean? And I got my recurve and I'm looking and I'm taking a gasp of air and I'm like, all right, I got to wait till he g gives me the broadside shot because that's what, you know, everything. And I read every book and every magazine, Bowhunter magazine, everything I was reading. And I had, I had a, a backpack on with survival gear. <laughs> Casey got stuck out there forever. Yeah. I mean, just in oh case. Just it was my first hunt. In, in Michigan. Yeah. yeah. In the yeah. UP. In the UP. Forever. So yeah. this bear goes and grabs this leg bone and crunches it. <laughs> and at that moment, I realized not a single bone in my body was that big. <laughs> I'm going to freaking die. <laughs> Oh, that's Maybe I'm gonna die. Maybe we shouldn't be talking about this not before her first. No, I'm telling you. I am telling you. I am gonna die. Oh my gosh. And I was like, and I don't know what happened, but somebody tied all my string to my recurve because I couldn't draw it back. His, he couldn't. He was, was like, just. What the? F oh, I no. finally got it back, released way over the back, <laughs> way over the back. I. And he, the bear, it was so far over his back that the bear looked around, <laughs> went back to feeding, grabbed a big chunk of bait, and walked off. Well, it gets dark now. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> and you there was a freaking bear there that just ate a bone bigger than any part of my body, and I got to get the hell out of this stand. <laughs> I literally was crapping in my pants. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to die. I, normally, I would climb down safety. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You lower your bow. Hell no. I climbed down with my bow, <laughs> going against all, you know, bow hunter education, everything. I got to the, got to the ground, and I, I think I did truly come to full draw. Mm -hmm. Like this. I, I, I grabbed my flashlight. I dropped it in the water, in the swamp. Oh, okay? no. So, so I, tried to, I just... tried to whistle. <laughs> I couldn't whistle. 
I know this bear's out there going, ooh, Italian sausage, man. I never had one of those. And I'm thinking, I'm going to die. And I remember, remember. Oh, Lord. For, I, couldn't, I, I was too scared to find my, look for my flashlight. I had this backpack on of all survival gear. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, this is going to weight me down. You, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I got to get it on my back as quick as possible. And I freaking ran 200 <laughs> yards out. And I didn't even take the trail. I ended up <laughs> way beyond or way past where we parked. Yeah. And I was like, <gasps> and I knew, but I recognized the trail. So I ran, I got in my vehicle, <laughs> I, made, I started it up, and I sat there for 30 minutes hyperventilating. <laughs> so, and I oh realized gosh. at that moment how bear hunting captivated my soul. It was over. Mm -hmm. Just because it's a predator, mm -hmm. it's you know a, what it can do. To yes, you. you know now. You see what now it can do. Now you know to. what can happen. So, in a short, so <clears throat> like if you're talking about more like a memorable story. So like the first time I shot a bear, first time I went bear hunting was with with dad. Yep. We were up in Ontario. It's when he had the bear camp up there, and I shot my first spring bear. Okay, mm -hmm. and it, that was it with was Rob, just, right? We yep, worked with yep. Rob. Rob and, brought in. Great, and you weren't great even people. filming me. I think Dusty was filming me. Yeah, okay. yeah, Anyways, I think it was. I'm sitting in a stand. I shoot the bear. Okay. It's just an average spring bear, which mm -hmm. aren't that big, just so you guys know. I'm like, just so you know. But they are bigger now probably because there hasn't been as many hunters up there. Mm. Just saying. But anyways. Co COVID. So the next spring, or that next fall, so I shot him in the spring in Ontario. That fall, I went to Alberta with Dad and Brian and Randy. Oh, uh, here, goes, here okay. goes this one. So if he oh, told no. me your fa his favorite story, I get Notice how I didn't mind. slam her at all. I didn't. I'm not <laughs> slamming you. You're gonna. See, he's got guilt. He's got retained guilt from this story. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, I'm not. Oh so, long story short, like we said earlier, mm -hmm. when you're bear hunting, take your time, okay? Especially if you're hunting over an area that's a bait site, they're going to get comfortable. If they're not comfortable, that means there's something else out there, meaning usually a bigger bear, oh. okay? So anyways, before we go out, now I'm going to film myself. So I, this is actually my first bear hunt on my own in a tree with no one with me. Because the first bear hunt I had was three months before, four months before. And let's, okay. I got to throw this in. And the guide... We're well, not that, mentioning... That, 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 that's where I was going to go with this. Yes, definitely yes. afraid of bears. Okay, so... He was. He, he oh, takes... Yeah. Your bear guide was definitely afraid of bears. Yes. yes. Huh. So Ralph and Brian went one direction. Randy and I went into a different direction. And the guide walks me in. And he's got a shotgun. And I have my Hoyt. And I have a camera and my backpack. And there's two tree stands from the year before. From where actually Dad and Brian had hunted and shot a, a good bear up there. Okay? So I go. And he goes, you need to get in that higher tree stand. And I go, Why? Now, I ran baits with dad in the springtime, so mm -hmm. I wasn't, I mean, I am aware, I am cautious, but you don't need to be terribly afraid. You need to respect the respect. bears. You yeah, need to all. respect the bears, period. So anyway, so I climb up to the first stand, and again, it's just a big wood platform. It's not, you know, in a wood ladder. And he goes, no, you really need to get up there. And I go, no, I'm fine. He goes, I'm going to give you my shotgun. And I go, I don't need your shotgun. I have a bow. He goes, no, you need my shotgun. And I'm like, I don't need your shotgun. Anyways, and I was also probably... 26 years old, 25 years old, 25, 26 years old. It's a long time ago. Anyways, so finally he's like, okay, listen, this is, this is the deal. He goes, he gave me this orange flag, okay? And he goes, if you shoot something early, because it was warm and it's Alberta in the mm -hmm. fall. He goes, if you shoot something early, he goes, put it out on two track. So you see where this is going. Mm -hmm. The two track is about 150, 200 yards away from the stand. Almost the same story. Not kidding. So I sit there and he leaves. And I sit there and I'm watching. And before we went out, dad always <coughs> says, and he'll tell you guys the same thing. The first bear that comes in is usually a smaller Normally. bear. Normally. 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 Let me rephrase that. Sorry, you're going to have to cut that. My glasses just fell on the floor. Ha. Huh. Okay. Normally, the first bear that comes into a bait site is usually a smaller bear. Okay? Because it tries to get in before the bigger bears come in. Okay? Okay. I'm sitting there. He says, Vicky... He goes, whenever you, so a lot of, a lot of bear hunting, they hunt out of like, they use like 55 gallon drums. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's kind of where you can be able to judge if that bear is as tall as that 55 gallon barrel, it's a, it's a, it's a good, decent bear. Okay. Okay. Great tip. But let's, so we don't, the thing you is with the barrels. You need to make sure barrels, the size of the barrel. Because some guys will use 35s, like 35 45 gallon, okay. and it will throw you off. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, you got a 35-gallon is... barrel. The bear comes in. You're like, oh, yeah. That's what Ralph and Vicky said. They shoot him, and they're like, that ain't my bear. I, so, I shot a bigger bear. But the thing is, is that you can also walk up as you're walking into your site. 
if you look, if that barrel's not up to your hip, it's not a 55 right. gallon drum. Okay. So or over it, my chin. Or if they don't have yeah. a barrel, <laughs> you can ask the outfitter or if you're baiting it yourself or whatever, you can walk up to a tree and notch it with an ax to your hip. So then you would know okay. where you would it where you would you like a reference, a reference of, of how where big this it back is. is. Cuz especially if you're either way if you're sitting in a stand or if you're in a ground blind, it's going to look big the first time you see a bear. Not going to lie to you, yep. okay? So anyway, so I'm sitting in the stand and I mean, I didn't wait very long at all and this bear comes in and I'm looking at him and I'm like, hmm, okay, well, don't shoot the first bear that comes in. He walks past the barrel. He's taller than the barrel. Dwarfs the barrel. Dwarfs the barrel. And I was like, oh crap, maybe I need to, um, you wow. know? So I'm like, okay. Shoot. So then he goes <laughs> over and back then the, the guide, he had a big two by four, a big log and he had a couple of beaver carcasses hanging. Favorite thing that bears love are beaver love carcasses. Really? So yeah, it's he one of their main over, food sources. Yeah. Really? He goes over meat. and he puts okay. his paw on the thing, on the tree, and he just, and I mean, it's way up high, and he just kind of steps up and takes a piece. And I'm like, <laughs> and he stood there and he chewed it, and then I'm like, okay, he starts coming back towards the barrel. I'm recording this whole thing. <laughs> I'm filming myself, okay, so which is mm -hmm. not an easy task, and no. I'm just like, okay. He comes, I start recording, I draw back, because he's by the barrel, I draw back, I'm full draw, and he must have caught my movement, and he comes over to the base of my tree, okay? I'm full draw, I'm 10 feet up, okay? The camera's facing out, I'm full draw, I don't know what to do. He goes whoop, onto the tree, and is looking oh, up at me. And goodness. I'm looking Change down at him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm looking down at him going, I don't have a shot. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with his eyes? His eyes look like rat eyes. They're so tiny. I don't know what's wrong with him. Okay? Remember that. So okay. I'm like, what the heck? So anyways, he gets down, walks back out. I'm freaking out. I got to let down. He goes, stands back up, grabs his pee beaver, and walks out. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. He comes back in. He gives me a shot. Shoot them. At the time, we were shooting game trackers. I don't know if you guys even know what this is. It's a string. It's a it's string attached. So that you can, attaches to your oh, arrow. It yeah. screws into your bow. So it, so it takes the arrow. So I got a pass-through. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yep. I got a pass-through because we got my arrow, but the string kept going, and then the string stopped, but I didn't hear a noise. Okay? So, and that's another subject that we'd have to jump back to. Anyways, he didn't make a moan because a lot of bears will make a death moan. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. anyway, so I'm sitting there, and I'm like, crap, now I got to get out of the stand. Kind of like he said earlier, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm like, okay, so. But I was much younger. Yeah, whatever. So I, I get down out of the stand. I did the same thing. Dropped my bow down, got down out of the stand, knocked an arrow, walked as quickly as I could because I don't, I didn't hear the noise. Yeah. So I don't know if he's done or not. So I run out, put it in, run back, tie up my bow, get back up in the tree, get it back up in the stand and sit there and wait. Finally, about, I don't know, two hours later, the guide comes in and he's like, so did you shoot it? Where's it at? And I go, well, he went over there. And he's like, we're not going to find him. And I go, what? He goes, well, I'll do a 20-yard circle around here. And if we don't find him, we're not going to find him. And I'm oh like, my goodness. so he does, he goes, let's get down. Let's go. We got to get out of here. So we get out of there. And I get to the buggy, or actually he had those samurais. I get and I sit in the samurai and he ran in to go get Randy out of his stand. And Randy comes back in. He goes, so you hit a bear? And I go, yeah. I go, but he says I'm not going to find him. But I told him where I hit him. But he didn't go down. He was used to gun hunters where they yeah. would just drop it. So, mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay. So that's, anyways, this is a really long story. I'm sorry. Anyways. Real long compared to mine. So I'm telling Randy about what happened and a whole thing about the bear jumping up on the tree and he had beady eyes. And he goes, Vicky, how many, uh, how, how big is this bear? And I go, well, I don't know, but he was taller than the barrel. He goes, Vicky. Do you have, so we got back to the camp and we put it on the, cam on the TV and I showed Randy what had happened. He goes, Oh my gosh. He goes, bear. he's like, that's a big bear, Vic. He goes, we'll find it in the morning. So <laughs> Ralph and Brian get back later than we did. And I'm telling Ralph and Brian about it. And Ralph goes, Vicky, we'll get him in the morning. I'm like, okay. So we had to beg the guide to take us back so we could go find him. No, he wanted no, to he, go. He, he well, wanted I mean, to go. He was a good guy. He really was yeah, a good he guy. Was, he was just very nervous. And it yep. was getting dark the mm -hmm. night before. So we And he go didn't back. have a lot of experience with archers. Bull hunters. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he was a good guy. And so anyways, we end up going and finding my bear. And he was huge. And he had a 20... 20 and a half inch 20, skull, yep. 20 and six eighths inch skull on him for my second bear. Big, huge. In big fact, bear. in fact, the full mount black bear in the house is him. Is him. That's him. That yep. was my second bear I ever shot. Yep. Yes. Oh 
it's a probably big dry bear. rotted by now all yes. that years ago. Oh Stop. my god. But anyways, that, that back to your original question. Mm -hmm. Even though we have taken other bears since then, like when he said his first one, that one will always because like he told me he's like you told and I kept you told me not to shoot the first bear. So I wasn't going to shoot the first bear that came in, but then after I was looking she at him I'm always like spins it that it's my fault, <laughs> oh, of course. Always. But I shot him, so I, I didn't yeah. listen to his his advice. So Exactly. Yeah. Okay, well I have one more question before I let you ask some more questions. <laughs> Just because you guys both did, of course, this is spring bear. Yes. yes. But I have to ask. Okay. Which do you like more? Grizz, brown bear, or black? Okay. Okay. Black in the bear spring is... or in the fall? Either. It doesn't matter. Any time of year. Which black one do you bear, rather hunt? Black bear is more attainable for most of us. Yes. You, you know what I mean? Definitely. Um, yeah. you, you know, in, in, in certain provinces, it's even more affordable. Right. You know, when yeah. you start heading out west, you, you in a lot of areas you could have a two bear tag, so yep. so that and and, and it, because it's more remote, it gets more money. It, get, mm -hmm. it gets expensive, but you know, like if you you head up in Ontario and the closer to the Midwest provinces and the eastern, you know, northeastern provinces, sometimes you could get a more affordable hunt, mm -hmm. but as you head out west, you you might have a tendency of getting more of a color phase opportunity. Right, Manitoba's you, really big with oh color phase. Oh my gosh, Manitoba, is, Saskatchewan, yeah. you know, I mean, so as far as affordability and attainability, black bears, In the but spring I will tell you this. If you were to say, <laughs> Dad, this is your last fall, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I would take everything out of the bank and go brown bear hunting. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, without a and, shadow of a doubt. And we have. We've gone up with yes, Wade's. Up with Wade. Wade, Wade Renfro's, Renfro's Alaskan Adventures. Yes, and we, incredible. We've, we've taken brown bears up there. And the difference between a brown bear and a grizzly in Alaska is 70 miles, mm -hmm. basically. If it's 70 miles to coast, it's a brown bear, even though it can look like a grizzly. Yep. So, I mean, everyone knows what a brown bear looks like, and everyone knows yeah. what a grizzly looks like. It just depends on where you're in Alaska. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we've been up there a few times. So, yeah. You know, and it is, it's another different adrenaline rush. I mean, we've done mountain hunts where you're sleeping in a little pup tent. We've done river flows, you know, where you're flowing down like the river. Like you're a human burrito sitting yeah. in this yeah. little nylon I mean, tent. And, there and, it. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, I know this is supposed to be about spring black bear, but that was the other one time we saw that big bear after we hunted that afternoon, that evening. Up ways. And we went back across the and river. Zach. Yeah. And we got into our tent to go to bed, and Dad was... Laying on his stomach and his... Now, I mean, seriously, the, the tent's not any bigger than the four of us sitting here. Mm -hmm. It's tiny, and we're sleeping yeah. in our sleeping bags, and it's just a nylon little pup tent. And he's laying on his stomach writing his daily journal like he always does his log. Yeah. And I'm laying on my back reading a book, trying to calm down before I fall asleep at night. And we're laying there, and we're, you can hear the river passing us, and we saw a huge brown bear crossing on the other side of the river as we were floating back to where wow. our camp was at. <laughs> and we're laying there, and then all of a sudden, I hear snap. And Remember we heard water. We, we, heard, we, we heard something heard like come water. out of water. And then we hear it snap. And I, She's my, like, my headlamp went whew, right over to Ralph. <laughs> and he's like, shh, 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 this and is I'm awesome. like, I can't be quiet. And then you hear, you hear walking. And then Your you hear, mother was saying, I am not going to be a human burrito yes, in the no, sleeping I'm bag. Not, so <laughs> then all of a sudden the I'm bear, he, he got our scent at that point, mm -hmm. And he, went, he made this. He, he wasn't from... He went from here to the cameras. No. Because you could hear ugh. his, you heard his pads and his nails in the rocks. And, yeah. then, yeah. and, yeah. and then you hear him going, <gasps> and then you hear him run and he hit into the water and he's, and he's going he across the across. river. And then Zach, who's probably 70 yards from us, and between us, we have our tent with our food in it. <laughs> yeah. That's smart. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. It's adrenaline. It's <laughs> adrenaline. It's what we do. But anyway, Zach is like, hey, are you guys okay over there? We're like, yeah, Zach, we're fine. We're okay. Was that you guys? Was it you guys? We're like, no, Zach, that was a bear. He goes, okay. He goes, well, let me know if you hear it again. I go, do you want me to scream, Zach? And he goes, no. No, don't scream, Vicky. Don't scream, Vicky. I'm like, okay, but. The Vicky predator call. There is a little bit of a difference there. Again, we would totally respect all the bears. I definitely would be more excitable and anxious and worried when we hunt brown bears and grizzly bears than I do black bears. One of the things that they will tell you is if you if you're either way when you're hunting like when we go brown bear hunting if a black bear is coming at you you need to stand up and scream and scare the crap out of him as big as you can you don't scream at a brown bear 
And if he's coming and attacking you, curl up in a ball and cover your cover head. your neck. He's just gonna mess with you. A black bear is gonna up. eat you. Come back. If later. a black bear is coming difference. after you, and we're not trying to get you nervous on no, your first bear, no. no. But but a, a, a brown bear or grizzly mm -hmm. will attack and paw you and throw you around and scratch. And you're gonna get hurt. Cut. You're gonna well, get I mean, hurt. You could die. You may but die. He's not gonna eat you necessarily. But a black bear in later. that disposition yes yeah. is a very bad bear. Yeah. And you'll know it. Yeah. Just like a dog. When you walk up to a dog and you watch the ears go back and it starts to snarl, yeah, yeah you probably want to leave. You, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Or grab your bow or gun and shoot the son of a bitch. You know, you, you, no, but yeah. you know what I mean? Not, um, not but, the bear. Or yeah. Not the dog, but the bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but yeah, you, no. you, you know what I'm saying? Yes. It's just yeah. read the posture. And, yeah. and, and Aubrey, honestly, and RJ, you've been doing it. You've already shot a fair amount of bears. But you will learn, especially that's what I love about bow hunting, mm -hmm. is you're so close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That you learn to read their body posture, their attitudes, and everything. And like at a bait site, especially, you'll watch a bear, and that bear all of a sudden lifts his head and is looking totally this way, and you're over here. You're like, something Something's else is coming. Mm -hmm. Listen to the pine squirrels. The Listen pine to squirrels the jays. Will let you know when a bear's yeah. coming in. A really? whiskey jack. Oh, heck yeah. Huh. So, and a whiskey that, jack is like our big stellar jays around here. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it's gray and black. Okay. Instead, you'll, you'll see them yeah. for sure. Absorb. You, here's what I used to tell people, even when they came to hunt with us. Mm -hmm. You, you want to shoot a black bear. You know what I mean? Right. That's your goal. Mm -hmm. So they just go in and that's what that's they the miss. They miss all of the things around you. Hell, one year we were in Alberta and we, we I don't know what, why we even looked. We looked to our right. And there was a, a wolverine coming down a logging yes, road. Yes, it, so, it was like blonde brown wolverine. It, it was, was so incredible. Cool. And we've we've had, had moose. And we've had wolves. Yeah, we've, we've had, had wolves. wolves walk in on us. We had, if you remember in Alberta, we had them all howling. Yes. M Mom's like, Ralph, no, 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 don't. And I got down because I was going to try to get a shot. Yeah. I couldn't get a shot from where they were, so I, I was climbing was down. Die. And she oh, was yeah, yelling at me. I did. Like, I thought he was going to die. I was going to die. But but what's so cool black bears any bear but black bears is where they live oh absolutely you, you know what i mean you go back up into that north country and yep. yes there's bears here in colorado there's bears in montana but mm -hmm. when you go up to canada and you go up in in these really remote wilderness areas where they may have never seen a human before that night that's, oh. just it's just awesome. I mean, think about that bear that you shot in Manitoba behind the tent. I was just yeah. going to say, you can never prepare for what's going to happen. No, you hunt. never know no, what's going to happen. Yeah. No. My elbow was against the tent. Against <laughs> as the wall tent was, that we're sleeping I was protecting in. my mom. It was gonna, it was gonna charge her. It, it, <laughs> it, it actually ran up after me from the lake. Thank yeah, because he went to go yeah. clean out. I went to go clean out my coffee yeah, cup, and he was in the boat. And we, you know, again, as sportsmen and women, you know, you're trying to manage. Mm -hmm. And you know, we, at first we were like, oh, j you know, get push the bear out, mm -hmm. and then the bear keeps circling, mm -hmm. and we're looking at him going. Uh, we, that's a mature bear. That's there were signs before too, before that day even. That I remember they had the bear around camp. Yeah. So yep. we knew there yep. was somebody around there, and we ended up finding him. Now, here's the bottom too. line. Yeah. Bear hunting is a blast. Sounds in most, like it. Really, yeah, it, is. It, is. It, it is. It's an affordable thing for mm -hmm. most. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you could seize that opportunity in the springtime that allows your fall to be wide open, you know, for your elk and your deer and everything. So that's why we have always embraced bear hunting in the yes. spring. So it's just it used fun. To, my two favorite hunts would be moose and bear hunting. Mm -hmm. It used to always be bear hunting until I started hunting moose. Yes. But bear hunting, there's an adrenaline because of the claws, because of the teeth, yeah. because it's a predator. Mm -hmm. There's something different about it. And again, like we were just saying, like your adrenaline will get pumping. But when you're sitting there and you're watching them, what you see and what they do, or if a sow comes in with cubs, they're adorable. Yeah. You don't want to get between them. No. 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 And no. they may climb up. They they yeah. they may and climb don't up. panic. Yeah. You, you, you know what I mean? Because you got to understand something. And here's what a lot of people need to understand: when a bear comes into a bait site and they see that blob up there, you already prove to that bear you're subordinate. Because a subordinate bear will climb the tree. They're they're running for their lives. Mm -hmm. And oh. they climb fast. Yep. Oh yeah. You, and bears can run fast. Oh yep. yeah. I've yes. Seen. They could they could beat a quarter horse in a fifty yard dash. Mm -hmm. That's how quick. But but then after that they sort of died out. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? Why yeah. Like RJ and I was a bear. Yeah, yeah, that's why we're bears. I can run like a bear. You got a good like 40, 50 yards, and then, and then, then it's done. Yeah. You're done. But, 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 I'm on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but but that's that's what and and again go on this bear hunt I want you to go there and anybody i want you to absorb everything get into the outfitter baiting. Ask them. Look at the scat. Look at the you know. Look at the trails. Look at your I pod see trails. See their pod trails. L look at all of these things, and you will learn so much in that one week of hunting. You, you know what I mean? And that's why, you know, you get it in your system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you go up, you shoot a bear, and that's it. You don't get involved in the hunt. You don't do anything. You don't understand you, you, you're it. You're missing you what it is. You and don't it, experience the bears. Yeah, right. Yeah, or what they are, and the just timber, there and everything watch else them. that happens. Right. To, watch them. Watch. Try to figure them out, just like people try to figure out their big white tails. Mm -hmm. You got to try to figure out a big bear. So, like Ralph just said, pod trails. Like to you, you're probably like, don't know what that is. The heck yep. is that? <laughs> A big bear normally will come in on the same trail every time, and you will see in the in the um, moss grizzlies, like that, brown bear, you will they, they all do the same thing. Where big he mature walks bears. in, you can actually see the trail. In Manitoba, we <laughs> had it a bunch. Yep. You know what I mean? Russ up at Adrenaline, he's posting photos of the pod trails already in the snow, where you can just see it's a big bear walking so cool. on the same trail over and over and That's over. That's the kind of things you want to absorb, yes. you want to get into and experience it. And now, you know, years ago we had trail timers. Oh, there yeah. was a little string <laughs> with a digital little, like yes. a, a watch you would buy in this little plastic in, in, encapsulated, and it had a little like cable tie that you tied the string to the logs or the barrel. Yeah. Well, when the barrel was tipped over the log, it, it would pull it would... this thing out, and oh. you'd get in there and, and it would stop you'd see the, the timer. Time. You would see what time it was pulled. That's so that's how cool. you would have to figure out how what time the bear right. was baiting, so you could try to pattern them. Huh. When you try to pet, when we were in Ontario, that's how we did it. Is yep. we we used because now you have trail cameras with timing uh, and everything. Photos, else and everything. Oh, yeah. You can do yeah, it all. But back in the day, it was just this little green box and it's like so cool. dental floss, you know. <laughs> and I wish and I would have kept some because it was know, just it was so cool. cool artifact. It, just, yes. it was, you know. But then back in the so when we were running baits in Ontario years and years and years ago, we would we always keep track of what time they were done. So yep. you'd go do one more run of baits, and I'd go and run and do the other set of baits because mm -hmm. we had hunters coming into camp. So we would write it down, and there was one stand that every time I would go in to bait for him, mm -hmm. for the bear, it was getting like closer and closer to the time that I was there. Oh. So at first it was like three hours after I went in, and then I'm like, what the heck? And I tell Ralph, I'm like, Ralph, I go, he's like coming in, like, like he's hitting it like within he's 30 minutes. He's patterning, he's patterning. He patterned me her rather than bait, me patterning him. Right. So then the last time I go in there, I go in there and he still, it was a five gallon bucket is what we had. Mm -hmm. And he took the bucket and I'm oh. talking to myself and I'm like, why would you do that? How am I supposed to leave you stuff if She's you talking. take my bucket? And I'm yeah. talking out loud because I know he's here. Yeah. I know he's waiting, you know, and I'm not carrying anything. I don't have a mm -hmm. weapon on me, a knife. I have a pocket knife, you know, <laughs> and I'm talking and then yeah. all of a sudden I saw him and I was like, oh, crud buckets, <laughs> oh. you know. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just leave you and this he bucket. Was a big bear. And he's a big bear. And so I like set up the thing and I walk out of there just talking to myself the whole time. Oh. That's okay, fine. I left it for you. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later. And I get back out and I ran into Rob and Reggie. Yep. And they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, this just happened. And they're like, really? And I'm like, yeah, Reggie, you got your bow. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, Let's go now. Go now, do it now. Th there's mm -hmm. a, there's a technique for people to learn, and that we would always call it two men in, one man out. Doesn't mean man or woman, but mm -hmm. you know what I mean. But Better what it not. is is when they <laughs> when they pattern you like that, mm -hmm. they hear the buggy or they hear they the hear truck, they hear the slamming of the door. It. You walking in, they know it's fresh bait. Mm -hmm. All right. So what you do is you take your client, you take your hunter with you. You make all the noise while they get up in their stand or in the ground blind. Yep. You make you just do everything your normal routine. You walk out. Middle and second thought. Within no. yeah. fifteen to thirty minutes, the bear's in. Yep. So yeah. so there's so many cool ways of yeah. doing that. Years ago I would turn around, especially if I had nocturnal bears, and I would take fresh scat from another poop. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would take fresh scat from a different bait site miles away. I would scoop it up. I'd have rubber latex gloves on. I would scoop it up, put it in a bag. And then I would go put that at a bait site and take the bait out, leave the bucket, but I'd take the bait out. Now that bear that was nocturnal comes in, smells there was fresh bait, <laughs> smells the fre poop. sees fresh poop that wasn't there before, and it's not his, or you know what I mean? Yeah. Within a week's time, we would normally have that nocturnal bear in for the hunter to get a shot Earlier. in daylight That's because insane. he wanted it yeah. he wanted to get in before the other bear can yeah. you tell we like bear hunting <laughs> okay so what else questions right. do you have we answered all take of them, it I away think. aubrey okay 
<laughs> I gotta figure out which ones you already answered real quick. Ah, just ask him. What? <laughs> what? Just start with the time, go down. You already asked that one, essentially. Which one? <laughs> What's your biggest bear? Take it. Oh, what Did you not take no. that? No, oh. no. Mm. Well, you asked us our well, favorite wait. hunt in a big Okay, place. so yes. what's the biggest bear and who harvested it? Like, gotcha. Who's... This is from okay. Dwayne. Yes. From Dwayne. From social Dwayne. media. Yes. Okay. Okay, Dwayne. Um... <laughs> it's a big old smile. <laughs> I don't you know. Already, you already know what who, that means. I who mean... shot the biggest bear between you and I? Did I guide you on it? Probably, nope. yeah. No, nope. no, nope. no. Nope. All right, let's, I'll, let, listen, I'll just clear the air. Vicky has shot bigger bears than I have. I have a few booners. <laughs> I have a few yeah. over 21 inches on their skull. You have more than a few. Oh yes, I do. Yeah. Yes, I do have the biggest bears in the house. So let's go to a different question. <laughs> so what else did you say? Okay, weight-wise, Dwayne, to be honest with you, a lot of the bears that we've shot in the wilderness, you cannot... You, you can't get out of the bush. You gotta, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can't. You gotta really skin them in, in the field. Quarter um, them up. You gotta quarter yep. them up and take everything out. I can tell you legitimately, you know, we, we've had multiple bears, you know, over 500 pounds. Yes. Um, you know, and, and I remember one bear, I think you shot, and we actually, the tooth was sent in in Manitoba, and it was yes. 21 years old. Yeah. <sighs> Yep, that was up a gang. Twenty-one one year. years old. His teeth were wow. down to almost nothing. What's the average lifespan yeah. of a bear? I, honestly, in, right in the wild, there. Right that's something there. you guys would have to Google yeah. me, because really, yeah. I, I don't know anymore. Yeah, you, you Again, know I mean? we were way up north on that one. Yeah. So where you're, where it's more accessible, where you can fly in and take a short drive to, rather than fly into Edmonton and then take a charter further north or something like that, the more accessible ones where you can drive to. They're going to have big bears. I'm not saying they're not going to, yeah. but they're not going to be as plentiful and as old mm -hmm. as the ones age probably structure. age structure Just like as deer like and elk getting and out in the middle of nowhere yeah. where they may not see people. You know, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? And the other thing is regionally, there's areas that may have bigger skulls. Like yes. if someone's, you know, just looking, you know, they, they want to take a, a big they measurement. They measure for skull, Pope and you know what I mean? for yeah. Pope and so, so, you know, there are other, there are sometimes better areas. The bears may not be as big, but the skulls, because they have, it's just genetically, you yeah. know what I mean? It's they kind have of like age. white tails. It's There's like human beings. Depending yeah. on where you are. Depending yeah. on where you're different. at and what's you in the know, soil yep. and stuff like that and what depending they live on off of. Depending on probably how many people are around and how used they are to actually right. I mean, look, having look, predators around. Look right. at your coastal black bears in, in BC. Mm -hmm. Why are they, you know, pretty pretty big size? Well, heck, I remember well, fish. You know what yeah. I mean? They, the, the seafood yeah. stuff, the urchins and all that. I mean, granted, it was in the fall, but I remember when we were in Newfie that one year oh. in 2019. There was a huge oh. black bear. Yes. And listen, huge. don't don't it ever looked, discount looked, Newfie. No, no. no. We didn't even mention Newfie, but yeah, we went oh. out there moose hunting, and they have some. Really it looked big like a bears. semi yeah. out in yeah. a yeah. berry bush. Huge. Yeah. It's huge. huge. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It just. Oh my god. You know, and people people will tell you, you know, and I remember this I, when we had all the riders coming to hunt with us, you know, oh, well, you could judge a bear by the light underneath the belly. And uh, totally, I do not agree with that. Now, you can judge the weight because if it's a big fat bear, yeah, you can but, tell. But you, yep. come out, you come out here in the mountains and your bears may have longer legs. Yeah. You, 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 or they you may know, be longer from they nose may be to tail. Yeah, longer they're tail. They're a lot more hills right. and yeah, mountains so, than they are kind yep. of the flat. T to me, the bottom line for judging a mature bear. And I go back to, Vicky hates when I, you, you know you go to Disney World and you get the Mickey Mouse hat, the little, and the ears are w almost yeah. touching, like here, okay? Immature, young age. Yep. As a bear gets get older, older, the skull go, widens yeah. out, so the ears go like this. Down. And they start to drop. Because you that's can read cool. that it says if it has big ear, big ears, it's a small bear. And that's not necessarily all true. Depends. It's more the about gap. the gap yeah. between the right ears. Right here. Okay. And the other thing is that when you're hunting bears, if like if it's a, if you can tell when it's a giant boar. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of times. And the reason being a big boar. They're solid. Say, is they're solid, okay? Shoulders and hips Shoulders all are match. Bigger, yeah. They okay. just they're normally just, the hair isn't. You don't have a thin, like a long hair guy, guard hair. It's a it's a shorter, all uniform, and and I, like a sow will have barren hips. Mm -hmm. She'll have bigger hips. back end. Mm -hmm. Right. Her like, back but, end will be but, bigger. But the heads, so you're looking for it width between the ears, mm -hmm. but they will have a crease from the muscle growing mm -hmm. on their like skull. Like your butt cheeks. Yes. <laughs> Don't say Throw that. that one in. I was gonna say, don't say who you used to compare it to no. because that wouldn't be good right now. But, anyways, 
<laughs> said so that in front of thousands of people. Goes, she always get mad at me. Oh, no. <laughs> where, where the crease is, it's the top of their head, and his muscles, their muscles will grow out like this. And you will have a crease. And when you see that crease, you're like, okay, that's a no-brainer. Age. No brainer, Age. Huh. No Age. brainer bear. No brainer. Wow. Yeah. It's and it's literally crazy. you see the crease. Yeah. You, you, I mean, I know you can't see it on here, but it, later afterwards, if you look at that sign right there that we have bearing down with Ralph and Vicky, see that crease in oh, his yeah. head? That's a big bear. When and, and when that crease not only goes from the eyebrows, but it goes up over towards the ears. Yep. It and it's, it's just it's all yeah. it is is oh. meat, tissue. Is... And it's just growing. It just mm -hmm. Yep, I mean, so it's just fun. It is. There's so many cool little things. Like, you can see how animated we are with this one. You know, like, yeah, like some of the, we'll be like, okay, let's talk about something. Well, and we're like, okay. But now we're like, okay, we're talking bears. We're bears. going bear hunting. Spring oh my bears. gosh, I can't it's wait. It's been we're what, four years yeah, now? Yeah. Three oh. years? We're hunting like, with Trophy on. West, so yeah. we're yes. glassing fire, okay? And we've bow hunted, we've crossbow hunted, and we've rifle hunted with right. Glenn yep. and, and Jeff and, and Kenny. Yeah, and muzzleloader. <laughs> we've, we've done, done it all, all up there. Yes. It's so cool spotting and stalking. But you'll watch this bear come down, okay? And as the tide goes out, they hit the shoreline. And you watch him move in these rocks. And you're watching with your optics, and you're like... Uh, I don't, I don't, you know, is that, you move, go down there and you see the size of the rock that this bear just went. And you can't. <laughs> you can't yeah. move it. Mm -hmm. And it, you know what I mean? And yeah. this bear just tossed it like it. And at the nothing. time you're like, oh, that's, that's probably a medium, small bear. And then right. you get down there, you see how big that rock oh. is. And you're like, that was a big that bear. Was <laughs> that was and a big bear. Is, like when we go to Trophy West in BC, <laughs> when we go there with Glenn and the guys, mm -hmm. what they'll do is because it's mountains. And they'll, what, we'll, what we'll hunt is either shorelines like yep. that, or else we'll hunt new slashes, new where they cut the timber for the paper companies. Where the fresh okay. green yeah. grass is growing so because fresh, they opened up the, the so canopy. So it's getting yeah. sunlight, so now there's fresh grass. So what we do is they know where the cuttings, the fresh oh, cuttings are. They know. And we're on logging roads, gravel roads, and you're driving around and you're getting to, to advantage points where you can glass down to other places. Mm -hmm. and, the, and if you see one in the green field, you know, and they'll, they've been scouting them this entire time oh, before yeah. we even get there. They know it for their hunters. They are set and ready to go on wow. where the bears are at. Incredible. So, and then they'll glass and they'll be looking and then they, they're looking with their optics. They're looking down there to see which way the wind is blowing mm -hmm. in the trees. So and they know the that if we want to get yeah. down there, which end we need to get in on. <laughs> I mean, they have all this thing going on. They're looking at it. No, that might be a sow. Do, do you guys see cackles on its neck? Cackles is like the fur isn't solid. So it looks kind of rough, kind of around so the like neck. like your beard normally, how yeah. it grows yeah. in. Yeah. It, 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 it comes yeah. in currently. Yeah, it comes in yeah. different areas. Yeah. But you can tell the difference, like on a, on a mature boar, mm -hmm. he's not going to, it's going to be, it's just going to be smooth. You're just going to see hair. You're not going to see these cackles, just, which could okay. either mean Sows. a younger boar or a sow. Yep. So that's how, and so they check all this stuff out for you. But then as soon as they're like, we need to go. Then you're mm. going. Then you need to hold on and take some bone iron or some <laughs> Dramamine because then you're going to haul booty down <laughs> yeah, and try to get to get set up. On, and sometimes it works and sometimes it and doesn't. Sometimes you'll have a four hour hike from yeah. where, you know, because yeah. you couldn't. So because you got to climb all there. the way up right. or if the wind's not yeah. right, you come down and then yep. you go up on the other side. But it's such a cool thing. And, and I mean, it's just, again, every aspect of bear hunting. Yes. Whether it's hunting spot and stalk, whether it's baiting or even dogs. Each one brings different attributes to make you enjoy it as long as you go there with the right attitude. Right. Absolutely. And like hunting with dogs. Now, I've never hunted bears with dogs. Have you? Mm-hmm. Have you? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, I mean, like Scott and Angie at Table Mountain, oh. they hunt bears with dogs up in Idaho. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and they've been wanting us to get up there forever, and I'm always like, I'm not climbing those mountains. Sorry, Angie. But anyways, <laughs> just saying. But, I mean, so there's so many different ways to hunt, and that's another whole aspect of it is the dog yeah. hunting with them. I mean, we've hunted hogs with dogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be kind of the same thing. Mountain lions, hogs. your yeah. cats. And you, hogs you know I mean? don't climb trees, though, so this there's a little difference no, there. Yeah. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. So do we answer all the questions now? No. no. <laughs> okay. So how are you caring for the meat after taking a bear in warm weather? Okay, real great question. Depending where you're at, sometimes I mean the thing is you've got to get the hide off. Yeah, you, you have to get cool the hide it down off. That height, whether it's on a bear or on a moose or a elk, and the vitals out, so you cool generates it off. heat. You, you, you know what I mean? So what you want to do is get the hide off, and then you do your typical in the field processing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You get your shoulders, you get your your, 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 your hind quarters, mm -hmm. you get your back straps, you, you know what I mean? And what you try to do is when you're doing that, depending, first off, at least hang it or put it on a tarp so you cool the meat down. You, you, mm -hmm. Don't throw it in a bag right away. No. Get Even if it's warm out, 
at least let it cool down. You want to keep the larvae, the, you know, the, the, the bugs away off. from it. Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? And, and once you do that, then get it packed, get it out, and then hang it in a cool, you know, cool area. And the thing is, is that if you're on a wilderness hunt and you don't have that capability of going somewhere, you're probably going to have game bags with you, yep. which is like a thicker cheesecloth so it doesn't break, or a thinner yep. cheesecloth right. depending on the, the season. But you can put those in there, and if you're, most of your wilderness hunts are going to be up north, where the permafrost level is lower, is, right. is closer it, to the top of the to land the than further down, like if you were hunting so you in Georgia or just somewhere. Scrape you, know? the algae, you can you know, actually the... scrape the moss yep. off mm -hmm. to get to the, where the permafrost is at huh. and put the meat in there. Like Put, put a tarp. Put a tarp. Okay, lift, lift, lift it up, put the tarp, but do not put the meat on top of each other because no, you will generate heat out. where yeah. it's touching. It's and then like cover it back up. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And then cover it back up with the moss. Because it's going to insulate it and it's going to cool it down. You just hit a good point, What's and that? that's another the hide. You know, a lot of that. You that's, don't want to fold no. it all up. No, no. that's your absolute. You even if you got a freezer, mm -hmm. and RJ just nailed it. Because what it is, a lot of people they get it, they skin it, you know, they flesh it out a little bit, they, they roll it up it. Yeah. and put it in the freezer. No, the inside's no. not going to do it. You're going to have mm -hmm. hair loss. Keep hair loss it open. Yep. Put let it chill the whole hide. In the freezer. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be frozen solid, no. but it needs to chill. You have gotta get yeah. the heat out of it. That's where you'll get your your you, you know where where your, your hide will slip. And, yep. Yep. Your hide will slip because wherever that heat was captivated, that's where it's gonna slip. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, yeah, good point, buddy. And, and yeah. the thing is And is you that learned that, see, on your first mm -hmm. bear hunt. Yes. And, and oh, yeah. you remembered it. I'm yes, proud of you. Good Thank job. you. I probably I'm taught it to him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. So and the other thing though, again, if you go on a wilderness hunt. Okay, so it's kind of the same thing with the permafrost if, right. you, if you have to, or if, if you're set up and they have salt yep. right there on the scene, if you have it, you can go ahead and put salt all over the and let it hang. And here's the thing with game, with game bags. Yes, you could go buy cheap ones, and those cheap ones will tear. They won't right. keep the, 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 the bugs from the larvae and everything. Really investigate. Like Caribou Gear is one yep. of the best game bags Great we've game bags. ever found. Mm -hmm. They have Our the game whole bag. kit for they you. They got kits for you. They got everything. They're awesome. You, you, you know what I mean? Best. You get them at Bass Pro Capellas. Them. You get them. You know what I mean? But but mm -hmm. that's the thing is, really, you're you're make you're you're, you're making an investment on the adventure. Mm -hmm. Do not cheapen on the quality of the products you're taking there to bring right. everything back. Yep. And yep. and the same thing with when you're asking about like the meat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. You do want to get that meat cooled off right away. Yep. And if you can, keep it cool for a few days if it's possible before you have to pack it up and stick it in the freezer and stick it to get you back home in a cooler or mm -hmm. something like that. If you can let it age a little bit, it's going to be better. Tender. Depending on the size of the bear will depend on what the meat is like. Mm -hmm. You know, younger right. bears aren't going to be as stringy. Um, we gave you some before, and I know you even had made the comment it was kind of stringy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, She's like, it's better yeah. as sausage, that's for sure. Yeah, it's, 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 yes. and that's what you learn. The, yeah. the older bears. You learn what you prefer. Yep. You, you yep. know what I mean? Yep. Here's a good, I think, right? Would you say this? Look at a hog. A right, wild right. hog. You take a big old boar hog, you're making sausage. Yes. You're, you're, you're yeah. not even you're not thinking about yeah, anything else. That's about sausage. anything else, yeah. we're making sausage, period. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same thing on bears. It really okay. is. Back straps are good. You know what I mean? Tenderloins are good. You know, depending on the terrain, where they're living, what they're eating, everything's going to taste different. The bears here, like Fred and Michelle had yep. said, I shot a bear here. They're like, you will never eat a bear that is as tender and as good as this bear that you have shot here in Colorado. <laughs> and it's the difference between I had never shot a bear in Colorado until this yep. was a few years back. And it does taste different because we're not in the northern wilderness You're not area. living in a swamp. They're not yeah. eating swampy stuff. Yeah. They're not. So there was a difference. There was, absolutely. So, mm -hmm. All right, well, then, as we're talking about meat and how it tastes and how it would take care of it and everything else, here's a question from Sam. How does the meat taste after hibernation compared to a fall harvest? Good point. Here's the thing is, it all one, okay, when the bear comes out, he's lost a lot of weight, mm -hmm. he, he or she. Because you, his body used all of that fat and to, survive, to, survive to survive through hibernation. Through hibernation. Yeah, yeah, unless you're in most of, in any of the states or the provinces that you get warm, mild weather. And, you know, a fallacy. People think those bears hibernate. They never get up. They, they, they're in that den yeah, for no. all... They get up, they yeah. move, sometimes yeah. they actually come out. Mm -hmm. well, you know, th th there's all kinds of facts now, you know, and studies that have been done. Mm -hmm. um, I, I will tell you, a fall bear eating berries yes. 
Oh my gosh, the flavor is the, incredible. The blueberries? The bl do you yes. get the blueberry flavor? Yes. Oh yeah. Well, well they it's, just have a different taste. It's a to different them. Yeah. it's a yeah. different taste to them because it's what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yep. That's so, fair. I mean, so, that's, so I guess it's I mean, like yeah. whether well, there's mule deer or antelope with the each sage compared to White tails. Do white tails for a great yep. example. White tails out west here or white tails back in Illinois eating corn and soybeans. And acorns. Mm -hmm. And acorns. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? You're gonna have a different yeah. it's Anacostia have a different... Island. They yeah. the, the white tails that we were hunting on Anacostia <laughs> Island. They were eating kelp on the seashore. Uh, so oh, it had a different truly it, it, the most unique huh? And now I say unique, <laughs> the best. The <laughs> best venison flesh. No, right? Because it was like, she loved it because it was already salted. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it's crazy, but <clears throat> bears are the same way. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know that, I mean, right now, Florida does not have a bear season, but they did just a few years ago and they yep. closed it down already. Those bears would definitely taste different than what they taste oh. like here in Colorado mm -hmm. and definitely different than then the ones in BC and the ones in Alberta or the ones in Saskatchewan. Mm -hmm. They're, it just depends on what they eat. <laughs> so, I'm going to yeah. jump in. I got to jump in because mom brought up something. Oh, no. No. Uh, here's facts, all okay. right? Any animal that we have managed, that we have put a value to, and we have put a hunting season to, has flourished, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. Ontario, at one time, shut down spring bear hunting. We have Washington. For we have political states. political means. Political, strictly political Why they shut BS, spring down. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Florida, they put a quota, and in... Like a couple of days. Two it or was three filled. Days, they filled. It actually quota. went over. What does that tell you? As any oh. true wild, wildlife and biologist, it was, it was a weekend hunt. It was. It was like three or four day hunt, and they filled the quota in Florida oh. that quick. When we let political personality step in, politicize the game and fish, it doesn't work. We, we can't. We do are it. hurting the. You know, everything. We, we we are destroying what what all of our ancestors set forth, and and the reason they you know they put restrictions and management yeah. programs and all this. When we let that. When, when we let it become a political situation, mm -hmm. you know, you know, just a let, greeny thing, and be, you don't want it to, we let, screw up. Let the mm -hmm. biologist. The true biologist. The true biologist. The real biologist. Not the ones that have been politically motivated. Yep. Mm -hmm. Or it's put sad. in positions. It's sad yeah. because that's where we're at nowadays. Yeah. You yep. know, so. How was that one? Good. It's All right. Amazing. We, hopefully we helped you, <laughs> Sam. Take it away. <laughs> okay, so what dates do you think are best for change? For chances at killing big boars during the rut, just like yes. white tails. See, I read that they have a rut, and I didn't know that they yes. had and a we, rut. We, they do in the spring. And we're going to be in Alberta that last week of May. It's usually the last week of May, the oh. beginning week of June. Oh, depending now, on like depending on sometimes. So like up in northern northern Manitoba, we hunted. Mm -hmm. They were running like mid to end of June. Well, and here's why. We should be good. D due to due to the location. Right. The provinces, which I commend, they they realize that good example ice out in southern southern BC is way sooner than ice out in northern BC mm -hmm. or Saskatchewan or Alberta or whatever. Mm -hmm. So they they set a mark and they say, well, they realize that well we should open our bear season further north later. Okay, mm -hmm. and it'll run a little bit later because, so what that does, we're going to a new place in Saskatchewan. Right. Right? This spring, yep. Yep, and they Cree have, River. huh? Cree River. Cree, they, he, Patrick, they have a late season spring bear hunt. Mm -hmm. We will be hunting in the dead of the rut. So you will, when you see us a, a bear yes. come in, awesome. hold on, because if you think it's a sow, I promise you, there's, There's big so, daddies looking, you know. Yeah. And, oh, and, and, and as, so me. as for the rut, it's just like a white tail. The bigger boars become kind of not really paying attention to everything. Yeah. They should be just like a big white tail. Mm -hmm. When a big tail, a big white tail is rutting, you know, everyone says you need Makes to hunt mistakes. the rut. They make mistakes. So yes. do, the, do bears tend yes. to the sows like, like yes. white tail do? Yes. Those? Oh, absolutely. Yes. They they'll will come follow in, them will around. Will be like a day or two? Will they How, what, what's their kind of span yes. usually? They'll go to yes, the multiple sows. Yep. Yep. It's just like a big white tail, but... They don't What's go really and breed cool? 50 sows. No. You, you know what I no. mean? Right. Just like a, a white-tailed oh. buck. You know, they'll yeah. get a few in for the season, but they'll tend them for hour, you know, for a few days. Yeah. And you'll hear them come in. They, they will start going. They go, or they'll go. Really? And that's a boar going after the sow. Oh. And we and, and if she's not ready, oh, oh my god. She's gosh. just like your mom, man. Oh, yeah. She will turn oh, around and she's, she's like, Oh, and yeah. they make these with the weirdest noises. You've seen it with her. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Oh, Seriously, hail. the sow, the sow wow. at the other. Weird. It is the crazy. It is so crazy. 
We should there. find footage of that. Oh sure. yeah, maybe I, I, we have somewhere. I mean, we've we won't them. be on this here, but maybe we'll put something together. Yeah. We can throw yeah, something we'll on YouTube it, and find it, find it, put it on YouTube media. for like we've watched, localization. We've watched boars breed, so cool. sows. You know what I mean? We've watched boars fight, mm -hmm. literally. And I am telling Ooh. you what, amazing. Oh, you, yeah. they slap the each other and they bite each other. And you're there and you're witnessing this. And that's another thing. That's why we keep saying, you know, so many people are just, oh, go for the kill. Forget the, just no. the kill. The kill's anticlimactic. It mm -hmm. is. It's being there and witnessing that. Listening to the birds tell you something else is coming. Mm -hmm. yep. Watch that young bear pop up and go, boom, go. <laughs> and you know <laughs> tells what's you. going on. Yeah. I mean, at one point, there was a, there was a place in Alberta. I want to say, did we have 13 different bears on the site? And then the big bear came yeah. in. And all of them went, chink, 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 and they all went running. Everyone were like. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Quick story. Get ready. <laughs> no, uh -oh. I, I would have, I would have, and you had, you know it. I know. <laughs> you know it. You know it, right? I, I, I would have had the biggest bear in the household. He would have. I he, shot my second oh, bear in Alberta. Because Alberta, you had two bear tags. Yeah. And he okay. just shot a second bear. Which beautiful bear. Beautiful uh -huh. bear. He runs and goes 20 yards and just down. Just filmed them. We're watching him. The, some of the other bears come I around. Lowered, I lower my bow. As I'm lowering my, mom's right here filming. And I lower my out. bow and I'm like, <laughs> And I'm, I hurry up and I get my bow I'm up. Tagged out. Because I watch this VW wagon, bus wagon. <laughs> we heard him breathing. Oh <laughs> Every step. Oh, yeah. Big board. He comes in, he oh. smells our, our ladder where we climbed up, smells that. Looks up. Looks up like, ah, uh, you uh. know what I mean? Walks <laughs> over to the bait site, smells the blood, walks over to my bear. Sits on top of his bear, uh, and my bear, <laughs> my, my bear was a big bear. Yeah. This thing dwarfed him, and then he walked off. He he had all white. He sat on him and left. He was his, so his forehead his here forehead and all fired. his chest. No, was white from rolling trees over. He'd push it with his head, so they and then he'd walk checks. over. They it. do scent areas. Scent. Yeah. So you'll find posts. a whole bunch of white ass or white um aspens or birch, birch pop, pop, poplars, poplars yeah. up north or poplars. They all change the color. Same. But anyways, yeah. they would find you would find like poplars about this big, just big enough, you know, just like that big. Yeah. Big bears. They'll they'll mark their areas. Well, you'll see it in BC because they do it. In they'll BC bite too. and snap they'll, trees. They'll, crack they'll them, walk break over. Them off one of those trees or a couple of those trees and they'll bend it over and all the scent from down yonder all the way up and then they'll just hit it with their head. They'll claw it, they'll bite mark it and twist to like mark their they'll territory. They'll snap a branch off, oh, a tree, it's, a tree. Bear hunting is just so much more than just it's going cool. yeah. and sitting in a stand and shooting a bear. Yeah. And then on top of it, like you were saying before too, is so, you know, we watch bears fight. We've seen all kinds of crazy things going on. But then the cool thing is that if, if you're going on a bear hunt, take the time when they're skinning it out, if you're with, an, with a guide oh, and he's oh, like, I got yeah. it, watch as they skin it out, okay? It's because the muscle you will see, structure but also crazy. you can see bruising yeah. really? from bear oh, yeah. fights. Like you will see canines. Um, I shot a bear up How in about Alberta. The That's what I say. The wolves were chasing him. Oh. He had all kinds of canine bites on his back end and in between his paws. He was running so hard from the wolves. They were all split. This was like you took a razor, you took a... A cold steel knife, it went like this. Look at it. Yes. All. From That's running. from him running. That's terrible. It is. That's that so terrible. I mean, yes. the, uh, nature isn't nice. Oh, no. It's no, not. No, no. You know, but that's some of the other cool things. But also, yeah, when you do skin them out, when you see a full bear laying there all skinned out, Oof. it is not a real, it's almost human-like. Well, Weird. yeah, it's, yes. it's the muscle structure. The muscle alone structure is just when they're laying down, incredible. it's almost human. Whether it's a small it's bear or an old mature mm -hmm. bear, mm -hmm. it's just incredible. It is, which is kind of an odd, weird, creepy thing to say. So yeah. I, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. That's okay. What else? So, going off, obviously we know the rut is the best time. Yes. Of course. Yep. Yes. For or, bear or, 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 but also in the fall, RJ. No, in, in the fall, mm -hmm. they they go through a transition. They're getting ready to to, to, to go hibernate. hibernate. Yeah. So they. Any bear, and I'm big, small, go on a, a eating frenzy. And they start stacking mm. up weight. Yes. yes. They, they have to put on that weight yes. because they're going to lose 30 to 40% in, yep. you know, in, in, in so the hibernation. So they're yep. a lot at that time. Yes. Yep. Trying to find food. So that's the dates, more or less. What about time? Daytime. I know I've, I've always loved because I don't, we don't get up early. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Most so, time. <clears throat> so most of the time when we go bear hunting, okay, so when we're hunting like in Alberta, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, <laughs> those areas there, 
Usually you don't hunt out in the morning. Mm -hmm. Usually you go mid afternoon and you sit. And because usually and we're northern, <laughs> because because the way and how late the sun sets mm -hmm. when you start going up further north, it's daylight until eleven, sometimes twelve o'clock at night. Yeah, you know, so you're hunting until midnight. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You're getting, if you shoot something, which because the bears the they morning. move, you know, at low right at the last minute. Sometimes they'll come in earlier depending on how many bears are at the bait yep. site. Pressure, but. If you shoot bears. a bear, by the time you get it, sometimes you're not back to camp till two or three o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Mm -hmm. But then you get to sleep in. It's about yeah. your average time of going to bed, you two. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. 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 But then you don't have to get up early and go bear hunting. That's now, true. when we're going BC, spotting and stalking, you still have to get up early. Sorry. <laughs> yep. Yep. No, but Sh now we're, we're heading to Saskatchewan. Almost. Almost. And we'll be good. Okay. We're heading that's to Saskatchewan. Good, yeah. It's phenomenal fishing. Mm -hmm. yes. You know what I mean? And, yes. and those, that's another thing you want to pay attention to if you're looking for a bear hunt. You love fishing. May, you know, start talking to the outfitters that have both because mm -hmm. now you, you know you go fishing. You, middle you, of day, you can go middle fishing. Middle of day, you for go fishing. Yeah. Go back, wash up, set free, get get in your stand to hunt your bears mm -hmm. in the afternoon. It's a combo hunt that you can't you can't beat. Yeah. Absolutely. Another question. Take I know we're running right over mm -hmm. all your stuff. Okay, where are you shooting a bear? Gr Aubrey, <laughs> the million dollar question. Okay, <laughs> here's why. One. It's so hard to distinguish, especially in low light. Sometimes you can't even see that crease if it's a black bear, you know, mm -hmm. all dark and everything. What I always have said is go length, height, split in the middle, put a T here, and shoot on the inside of that, okay? So in other words, if you stay on the crease, Dun -dun. and this is from the <laughs> Bowhunter Education Foundation. The International Bowhunter Inter Education, yeah. What a great organization. They make these for this. But you see, like if you come up on the shoulder, here's your joint, it goes this way, and then your shoulder blade. So if you just come up here on the crease, if you went here, you know, you know what I mean? You made the line here, and then you make the line here. I'm trying to do it here. And you shoot on the inside of that line. Mm -hmm. Of the half bear. Of the half bear. Right. You, you know what I mean? Towards the shoulder, inside but of that stay line, but stay off, off the that shoulder blade. Shoulder blade. It's right. thick, and some people are going to say, oh, man, I've shot right through it. I'm going to tell you something. The majority of the, the shots, you, you're never going to recover the bear. You didn't do anything to the bear. It's stuck in the shoulder. It broke the arrow off, you know, right at the in, right where the insert ends in your arrow, your mm -hmm. shaft. You, so, you know what I mean? So broadside, like he's saying, half and half, and then just forward Inside, of it. Inside, just forward of it. Because you're going to hit lungs and, and liver right there. The okay. thing is, is if you're quartering away, now. because sometimes the bear will, you're going to want to shoot further back so it comes out. Always aim for that opposite leg. For that opposite leg. So your entrance might be here, but you're going this way. So Does you that still make go sense? ahead and get lung in. Yep. And, yep. and don't rush your shot. Okay? <laughs> no. Bears have a tendency, especially if they're nervous, they'll grab a piece and run off. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. They'll return. They're going to wait. Now, a bear that keeps doing this, looking in your position like that, is telling you, He's on a wire. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's going to be Don't nervous. even let him go. Okay. Seriously, let him go because the thing he's going to do, he's going to do mocks. He's going to run and stop, and he's going to try to hear. And if he hears an arrow or a, a safety go off, he's gone. But if you don't make a noise... And you just watch him. He'll, what he'll do is he'll slowly start to circle. They, uh, the majority of your they bears circle, circle the bait, and then they come back in. And those big mature boars, mature boars will come in on their pod trails. Normally, you know what I mean? And they'll just take their time. And you'll watch bears do this. So they don't make any noise. They lift this. Oh, yeah, no, they're quiet. And they put their Smart. pad down like this. Mm -hmm. And they, and you're watching, you're witnessing this. And it's just, it's so cool. And I know we're running long on this podcast. But one other thing, too, is if you make a bad shot, okay, on a bear, say you end up hitting the guts. The thing is, is the bear, if you do not push him, right. when in doubt, get him. out, mm -hmm. okay? You leave him. You go back. You will probably find him within the first two beds because what's going to happen is, one, you didn't push him, so he didn't run further. What he's going to do is he's going to run to where there's coolness, where there's moss, and he's going to lay Water down. Or moss. And he's going to take the moss and try to pack because he's, in, he's burning up <laughs> inside. He's having infection kick in. So he's going to start internally. Packing. He's internally. bleeding. Yeah. Yes. So the body heat is generate is increasing. So yeah. he tries to cool himself down, gets that body temperature down a little bit, gets up, walks a little bit more, lays back down, lays back down, does it again. And if and you don't push him, he's dead. Yep. He's there. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. It's crazy. 
So I know we're running. Oh, they are. Are we running long? Yeah, a little bit. We're okay. good. Okay. We're, good. Okay. we're having a great so conversation. We are having a good time. You can tell how excited we are about that. Oh, yes. Day. Very I mean, much. That's just, awesome. Yeah. And we have a bunch of content coming to your yes. guys' platform, which is Ralph and Vicky, or at Ralph and Vicky. Ours is at RJ and Aubrey. Um, but unfortunately, we do have to wrap this up. Okay. Yes. So thank you guys for watching the Choice Podcast. We hope you guys enjoy this episode. And as you guys can tell, there is a ton more knowledge that we can extract out of yes. or let us these just spew two. it out yes. Yes. Spew one it or out. the other one spew it out so i guarantee there will be more spring bear podcasts in the future um <laughs> or just bear, bear just okay. bear fall just bear, bear yes anything yes, yes. Just bear we yep. love bear hunting well thank you guys for watching and we Thanks, hope guys. you have a good thank one thank you take care bear down bearing down